Well, everybody, it's another week, actually the first week of Follow Along Friday. So we're gonna install a package into a brand new hive and we have everything that we need set up and ready to go. Jesse's gonna show you. So we already have our bottom board set up. We got our entrance reducer in on the smallest setting. We have it blocked off. I just use, I have this piece of wood that I use, but you can use grass, leaves, whatever, block that off. I got the one inch hole drilled in the deep box and I put a cork in it, got the top cover. Got it extra deep. Now the reason mine, I have a lot of old extra equipment laying around. So any of the deep boxes that I get that are crappy and worn down, I paint them black. And that's, those are my feeder pail, like you can see on all these. And that's where I put my feeder pail and that just helps keep the food even warmer. It's not a necessity. You can use your empty deep that, or, or your other deep that you have. If you have three deeps, you should, uh, three deep system, you should have extra deeps laying around. You're gonna use one of those, or you can use two medium supers as well. Of course, we got our package of bees that we're gonna install. And then right here, we have all the delectable little things that we're gonna need. We've got a queen cage hanger. We got a pin to open up the cork on the queen cage. We got our mini marshmallow. We got our marker to write on top of our hive to explain what package is going in and when we're installing it, like here. We got our J-hook hive tool. We got a half of a pollen patty ready to go. We got a frame, uh, per, uh, frame, hang, uh, frame perch. There we go. We got our spray bottle. We have a smoker, but we are not going to be using smoke. You don't use smoke when you're installing a pack package, so we'll get that out of the way. We're using our Pro Suite, and I got my insulated insulator for my, my uh, feeder pail to keep the food even warmer. And we're using Pro Suite today. And that's the tools that we'll need for the job for today. Of course, I got my lovely nature's nectar jacket on that's almost brand new, as you can see. And Jesse, pan around and show you. Here, I'll give you, I'll give you a look at the new ones. There, Jesse's wearing the new nature's jackets. And, and you can see they're really nice because you can unzip this and you can open the, the front of it. Uh -oh. oh, there we go. So now if you need to take a drink of water, if you need to look and do something, it's nice, plenty of pockets, very nice ventilated jackets. I highly recommend ventilated jackets. Um, you start keeping bees in June, July, August, and it is very warm. All right. So let's get our hive prepped. The package here, we'll put this on the side. Take our cover off. Have our inner cover in here. Got our brand new frames, just like you guys will have. And we're gonna take out Set them right aside after I get my perch on here. Now the frame perch will hold three frames comfortably. Um, now you want to be careful when you're doing, because uh, you're going to actually use four, but these are empty. So I don't recommend putting it on there when it's, when it's got bees on it. When you put four on there, you don't want to do that, but it definitely hold three. So now I've got plenty of spot, space for, for me to dump my bees in. All right. Show you how to prep the package. It's got tabs on both sides. You can see the tabs right here and right here and right here and right here. So what you do, take your hive tool or your fingers, if you're strong, and you just pop it in here and you snap it so you get it unlocked. Here, you can listen for the click. That clicked over the top of that. So now it's ready to go, it's loose, okay? So, now what we're gonna do, this is how you do it. So, you have your package. What you're gonna do is, you know, bonk it down like that. You're gonna grab your feeder can out. Put your hand over the top. Get your queen out. There's the queen. I'm gonna put her in my pocket. Actually, I'm gonna put her right up here. I put the can back in just to stop the bees from going. Now, you take your spray bottle, and you're gonna give them bees a good dousing all around the outside of the cage, and then get, get your can out again. And this is most important, you wanna spray the inside. 
Now you only do this if it's warm out. You don't wanna do this when it's cold. So if it happens to be cold when we're installing our packages, you wouldn't do that. Take my queen, put her aside. Take your package. Dump it out, all the bees are out. Now temporarily, I go like this and just try to keep most of those bees in there. Now I can prep my queen, put that on there because I'm gonna need that. Okay, so now we got the queen. So now I'm gonna prep the queen. This is the most important part, okay? See how she's running back and forth? You wanna time it when she's in the backside. Make sure you don't lance her. See, she ran up to the top now. Now I get that, get that needle in that cork, get it ready to go. Pop the cork in there. Now the cork can go in or out. Most of the time it's easier just to pull it out. Now I got my mini marshmallow and if it's hard and crunchy, I'm just kind of warming it up here so it isn't so hard. And I just put that in there, just like that. Now I got my queen cage. Bend this back, and this is how you put the queen cage in. You want to do screen side down, and you want to do the marshmallow out. All right, there we go. Marshmallows in, cage is down, all ready to go. Okay, so I got that. Now what I'm going to do? Take this up grab my spray bottle because it is very warm out right now so I'm gonna give them another dousing and that'll keep those bees most of those bees from flying take my frames put them back in I put two of them in comfortably now I get the remaining two my queen cage now I'm gonna push her to one side or the other you don't want her directly below the feeder pail hole that's in the inner cover I put these on there that in just like that now she's in there take your pollen patty put that off to the side because again you don't want to cover up this hole and always have your phone ready when you're filming so everybody can hear somebody trying to call me don't need your perch anymore your feeder pail, hold it upside down, see it drips a couple times, and put that on there. Now I'm gonna leave a little bit of a hole in case these bees that are out can get back in. Take your extra deep, put your extra deep on top. Put your telescoping cover on. Now we are gonna go marker top, so now we have there's Saskatraz bees. I installed them on 411. And now that now I'll know the date that I, that I installed them. What we're gonna do is we're gonna next video, we're gonna be checking our queen. You're gonna wanna check your queen about three to four days after install to make sure she got out, make sure she's laying. You can check the queen overnight, you know, uh, 24 hours later, make sure she got out and then look for eggs starting after about three days. And then when I see eggs on here, I can write that on there. And you wanna keep a log on top of here with your permanent marker. And after the season goes through, after you get snow and everything on here, then this will clean off and you start a brand new slate. So there's another tip for you. Oh, I forgot one thing. I'm gonna do my insulator. Insulator just goes right over the top of the feeder pail like that. I know it's warm out today, but the overnight temps drop down. And once that feed gets to about 50 degrees, it's really tough for bees to eat it. So if I put that insulator on there, the hive's gonna warm up that food really good. And that insulator will keep it warm longer so the bees can take it or so it will uh, not be as cold in the morning when the, when the sun gets out and starts heating it back up again. There we go. Follow along Friday with me and Jesse. We'll see you next week.